Greetings, greetings, greetings. Bonjour. Hello, everyone. I'm Lady Marlon Keto, and I'm coming back to you again with so much joy and peace of mind to just be back here. And guess what? It's almost the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I know some of you are still driving back home, and some of you, I don't know what you're doing, but hey, we're here. Just turn out, and I'm coming to you with something Kitoko. Yes. Kitoko, nothing ugly, because I want you to start off your weekend with a thought of Kitoko. Well, some people are wondering, what is Kitoko? What is even that? You'll find out, but it's not ugly, definitely. <laughs> we'll figure that out as I welcome my guests very, very soon. But until I do, do me a huge, huge favor. Can you hear me? If you can, thank you. Let me know where you're watching me from. And again, share. Yes, don't be stingy. Come on, share, share, share this line. Share it, share it, share it. Share all this, you know, kitokoness. Share all this beautiful stuff, all this, all this, all this stuff. Go ahead, share, share. I'll do my job as well to share, to share, to share the live with my people, with everyone I love, I know. Yes, go ahead, share, share, share. I'll do the same thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for those who've been sharing already. Merci beaucoup, as we say in French. Merci, merci beaucoup. I just did my part. Did you do yours? Thank you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. There we go. Well, without further ado, I welcome my first guest. Yes, they are our brothers, our very one and only brothers. Uh, drum rolls. Da -da 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 <laughs> Here we go. Boom. Hello, hello, Dr. Tutu. Hello, Lady Marilyn Semeki with the most. Oh, How are you? Atuka, I am doing well. I am so blessed to have you. Some people know you, others don't. And we're wondering, who are you? Well, thanks for asking. Uh, you might hear some noise in the background. I've, I've got two kids, uh, married <laughs> to my wife, Carly. Got, I got two beautiful kids, okay. Luther and James. Uh, my my parents, uh, Delondi and uh, Germain, okay. uh, Toya. And, you know, I've, I've lived here in California pretty much all of my life. Nabotamana Nakin. My parents came over, came over when I was, I don't know, a year, I think nine months it was. And I've been here ever since. Uh, I got my doctoral degree at USC, and I uh, went to school up in Oregon for my for my bachelor's bachelor's degree in, in environmental science. Mm -hmm. I was a teacher, administrator. Now I have this great venture that we're going to talk about today, Kitoko TV, with with my brother, and that's what it is. What an adventure! What an adventure! Thank you so much. I just want to ask a little bit. You said you, you're a doctor. You have a doctorate degree. I just want to know: is it like the kind who can help women give birth, or is it? <laughs> you get a precise that one. <laughs> you know, I'm there are lots of doctors out there. Doctors oh, okay. do different things. I cannot help your mother or you give birth, but I can help your kid graduate from high school or college. That's the type of doctor I am. I'm an education doctor. Okay. My specialty is in human motivation and how to motivate folks, kids in our classrooms, our students to just be better, to be themselves. That's so needed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for just telling us everything about you. Well, 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 my last guest of the day. Da -da 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 -da. Here it's we go. <laughs> It's me. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you're here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. So yes. tell us, who are you? Well, come uh, on, guys. Ali Baleko Aziz Alisa Jr. Na bota makia na tazini Los Angeles. Tata pe mama ngai ba bota baki na na Ken na na za ba Congo matandi right. My father is Balego Ziza Wisa the first. My mom is Fiatu D'Antoni Wisa. Yeah. And um yeah, that, that's all the Wingala you're getting. But um <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, amazing. For someone who was born here, that's yeah, yeah. amazing. Um, I have a master's in biomedical sciences and a master's in public health. Um, mm. a stand-up comedian, been doing comedy for 13 years, and um 
it's led me to start this business with my older brother, Yatachu Natoya, mm -hmm. and um, our other like uh, family members as well. So I'm excited. We're really excited to talk about this. Amazing. Interesting. Thank you so much for being so thorough about who you are because you just dodge a bullet. I was about to come up with, you know, Buzaba na nine. Mama na nine. Tata na nine. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kind of mad. I, I, I didn't throw in the tribe. Uh, uh, Are you out to two? We got to. We're going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Holla! Yeah. Back on boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to throw the, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like gang gang. It's like, that's not my, that's not my Congo. Uh, I took that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being so thorough. Well, uh, you know, you have a special name, a little different, you know, it, it, it just comes out different. Wisa. Yes. What does it stand for? What, what does it mean? So my name, Baleko Ziza, means the coming of an ancestor's precious gift. Right, but Wisa means power in Kikongo. Power. Mm -hmm. mm. That's that's deep. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah it all it, it started it all makes sense. Like I just I just learned recently what Wisa meant from uh, one of my mom's friends. This guy speaks like you know the type of Kikongo that's like you have to like you've had to like grow up back home to like at least twenty five. You know that type of Kikongo. Like you can't <laughs> you can't learn this Kikongo. And then it was like, hey, como na? And then he flipped in Lingala. I said, hey, como na yo? We said, you have been, you have been going. I was like, no, that's an ABT. It's like, it means power. Mm. And I was just like, oh, okay, we're here. Interesting. You know, the reason I always like to ask my guests some of these questions related to their names, the meaning of their names, their background, mm -hmm. it's because whatever wisdom I feel like they, they have to give has something to do with their names. Somehow. I don't yeah. know. Somehow it always has something to do with that. So I'm wondering now, you know, look, look at look look at Dr. Tuto. He's into influencing people. And look at you, you also into some type of power. So power me power. Guess wow. what? I gotta grab some of that wisdom so I can run away with that too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, Marilyn, you already have it. I'm telling you. You Thank already you have it. Thank you yeah. so much. Well, um, I want to know who influenced you. Clearly, you have different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, Papa Tutu, you into I don't know education, and Brother Wisa, you into you were into so much comedy, you know, the science. Yeah. Health. How did you come? What? How did you get inspired to get into networking? How, Papa Tutu? So, um, my path was was interesting because I was I was a science major. I, I majored in uh, environmental science in in undergrad. And I've always loved sciences. I always, I always liked helping people. I've always been into helping people. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, teaching was like the next thing for me when I came out of when I when I graduated. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had a great career. Got my master's in education. Got my doctoral degree in education. And I, um, you know, that's 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 kind of my, my trajectory. But I've always had like this entrepreneurial streak in, inside of me. I, oh, I don't know yeah. if it came from. You know, we had a, 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 a uncle, Tonto Jojo. He was like the, the 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 big guy in our family who was the entrepreneur, and we'd hear stories about him back in the day. And mm -hmm. my my older brother, Papi, he yes. um, he's really into entrepreneurship, so he was a big influence on the directions that I went into. So mm -hmm. those are the things that really influenced me, and just just being uh, in tune with the culture and being in mm -hmm. tune with who I am. And yes. trying to trying to get more, you know, because the uh, mm -hmm. we didn't grow up na ba, ba coco na biso, to tell us stories, mm -hmm. you know, we just hear stories vicariously through our parents. So just just learning more about ourselves and our culture and our people. Um, I've always been interested in just just us and uplifting our people. Mm -hmm. I see. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. What about you, brother Wisa? I'm so interested. So, um... So how, been doing did you get into, how did you get into networking? How did so, you get into so I'll give you my, my backstory. So like I said, master's in biomedical science, master's in public health. So I always like science and genes and genetics. I always mm -hmm. like learning because um, once you start learning about like, um, I guess, um, genes and genetics, but then even health from like a public health um, standpoint, uh, 
it I don't know, it always resonated like with like with like culture and stuff like that. Like what black people die of, they're like communicable diseases, which is like eat well, um, mm -hmm. chronic heart disease, um, um, hypertension and stuff like that. So it always always saw like, hey, there's always a need to like um always wanted a need to help out the culture. But one of the mm -hmm. reasons why I got into um I got into stand up, I've always been funny. I remember being four years old telling my dad like a joke about like uh, like ninjas and stuff like that. So I've always been mm -hmm. like uh uh um, a, so, sort of a, like a, a performer or an order in a sense mm -hmm. or whatnot yes. so what happened was i've been doing comedy for 13 years i i cultivated all of this material yes. right so i didn't know where to put it i have like a bantu boys podcast i have mm -hmm. a uh what's the hook podcast or whatever so what happens with like us that grew up here like me into two we're split between three worlds so yes. you have Right. So we have this black, white world or right, whatever, mm -hmm. but then you have this foreign Congolese African world. All right, yes. right. So yes. one thing we realized is like, yeah, we could be a bridge. So we started mm -hmm. um Kitoko TV network mm -hmm. because we've noticed that, like, hey, matter of fact, we started CEO Ken. What actually happened was we wanted to highlight Congolese businesses because they're like, hey, if I go to DC, right now I'm in Maryland. If I go to Maryland, where can I get um Kwanga? Where can I get Saki Madesu? Mm -hmm. We don't have we don't have like a, a Congolese listing. So we started yes. we started CEO Kid, which is gonna be like a place where Congolese businesses can talk to Congolese um people. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then the but then the pandemic hit. So then, mm -hmm. you know you have, everybody had to make a, an adjustment or a pivot. Yeah, adjustment, yes. So then we thought, well, I have all of this content. Why let's look into streaming. So me to two, we started looking at streaming. We're like, hey, let's let's start a streaming service. So mm -hmm. one of the reasons why we started, we named it Kitoko TV, because you know Kitoko means pretty, but also means like well and good. So in what language? Kitoko and Lingala. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lingala, yeah, right. So we started the network. And one thing I noticed was especially being a comedian, I have so many comedy friends that have such great content. I'm like, hey. One thing we noticed during the pandemic, no matter what type of black you are, you can be black American, you can be black, you can be Nigerian, you can be Congolese in Brazzaville, Congolese in, in Cannes, Congolese in Belgium, you can be um, black Costa Rican, we're all connected. So yes. we created this network to show like how we're all connected. Yes. Oh, I see. Very, very deep. That's very deep. And I can relate to that. You know, I have siblings who were born here and there's that, you know, need to connect between the yeah, like to be a bridge i see that need now i just I, i'm just trying to understand better so is kitoko tv some type of netflix or is it just some type of bridge what is it exactly <laughs> well we we want to be able to highlight like your show is a show that is led by a Congolese woman and you have something to say and you have something of value to bring well where would you put this show maybe it goes on youtube maybe it gets watched maybe you know we don't know where it goes but there are also people out there who have ideas who have content who have things that they want to get um they want to produce but mm -hmm. they have no idea where to put it they have exactly. no idea how to cultivate it and you know when you're on some of these other platforms you're like you know just putting stuff out there and you're on your own but we really, and, and Bileko talks about this a lot, we really wanted to create this village where mm -hmm. you're not on your own, that mm. there are other people who are also on our network who share uh, similarities to you. Shows may be different, but you know, I may like something that's on the channel uh, and then run on uh, upon your, your show and, and watch your show. But we're doing this together. We're uh, developing this, this network together. And mm -hmm. I mean, you can look at it as Netflix or a lot of streaming services out there. And um, we're, we're similar to that, but we, we really have a very targeted uh, niche of being just the diaspora. And, mm -hmm. you know, how do we get to the diaspora in a very authentic, like authentic grassroots level? Not, you know, there's a lot of things out there that are happening, a lot of different types of networks. And you can go to other networks to, to find black content creators, but ours is we think we're building something unique because it's really grassroots and it's about folks who have something to say. And this is this is an opportunity for that to be shared mm -hmm. with the world. I see. So what type of content are you most likely looking for? Um, any the content we're looking for is content that highlights like the goodness of like the black diaspora, right? So like, for mm -hmm. example, your show, All of Gospel Ministries, where it um, shows, um, it's a like a lifestyle show, but through like, but faith-based, 
or whatnot. Or we have like talk shows. Um, we have like a show called The Chat that talks about um, um, issues that um, an everyday Black American girl goes through. We have shows mm -hmm. like um, Afro 506 that talk about and highlight like the African side of Costa Rica, right? Mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. also have, um, we have like Risky Intentions, which is a little bit more risque, but it talks about some of the ills of uh, a bad relationship and how to work through that. Or we even have like name a better duo, which is um, in English. They talk about uh, different um, lifestyle issues through uh, also through faith, right? So we wanted mm -hmm. to highlight. We were, we have content where it kind of highlights the goodness of what what Black people are doing because there's a lot of good that Black content creators are doing that are not um, that are not seen. So we that's the type of content we we have on our network, and that mm -hmm. we're looking for as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I also want to highlight the fact that we're we're really looking for ways to highlight Congolese, especially because I mean, we want to start with Congolese. We mm -hmm. know that there are other folks out there and other cultures that have content and are looking to create it, uh, but we, we we want to kind of get the ball rolling with kind of you know Congolese content creators, and we're running into so many people who have a lot of good ideas and mm -hmm. they have things that they want to get accomplished. But they never knew that they can bring it on to a platform like ours Absolutely. where it can be widely distributed so you know just just the thought like we were talking about you know congolese my bouquets mm -hmm. being made in congo mm -hmm. uh, what a what a, what an opportunity yes. to, be able to make a, a my bouquet in congo to be able to broadcast it to an american audience you know that's mm -hmm. that's that's very um exciting to us but there are mm -hmm. also folks in europe in, in toronto and um my, my wife carly tells me they're black um they're black uh soap operas that are made in brazil well where do we where do we find that stuff right, right. right. those are the kind of things we're looking to get here that's authentic and tell the story of us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. very deep that, i love that idea so bandeko bande obozo landanga oh is opportunity bande ona biso baba kongole bande bande kongo bande ona biso yo bala wa états unis Bazo Luca, Batamaboke, Bato Basala Raba Theatre, Bafilm, Pona Rocha Bafilm and Abino, Na Paj Na Bangona, Ezanet Television Mobo Basali, Oero Sunga, Bande Commissu Supeba Mona by Mission Abiso, or Sel Maripan Abiso Bakongo. A la Boko Late, so I Bozo Luca, a Sika Rochao, Batubaye Babino, Batuba, Bomona and Apena Mukilia, Pakuna Sika Bozali, Boya Pekoto. Bande Bazali, Baliba Pomovo Amatea, et l'Oronio Suiza Ba Congolia qui toque à Malam, pardon, Boya Nangua, comme ça, Bande Kuba, Bamon a fait bino, et puis Ba Pomovo a fait Moussalo Bosala. En tout cas, thank you so much. I love the idea, I really love, but it looks like the, it hasn't been easy. What has been hard about the whole process? Um, that's, man, where do we start? It's just, what's actually been hard is just, Gosh, how can I say this after two? It's like you're constantly you have to constantly be learning. You have to constantly be making adjustments. Like we've just started and you're always learning. Like once you hit one like milestone, there's so much more that you have to learn because it, it, it is a platform. It's different than uh I mean it's pretty much like a Netflix that we're we're trying to create. So there's so much that you have to learn like, it's funny, just even small minuscule stuff, like how to upload a video, how to transfer a video, how to edit a video, you know, you gotta understand like, it just can't be, you can't do everything on your own, you need a team. So you allocate, like we have a music department where we're trying to get um, gather a social media department, but even, and then we're trying to get bloggers and writers because it's a full on network. For example, if you watch, if you like any sports, so if you like soccer or anything like that, if, there's the soccer game, United, um, Manchester United, but then there's the writer that writes the story around uh, Maradona is turning 60. Maradona. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Who, 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 Cristiano I don't know. Ronaldo. Cristiano. Oh, Ronaldo. I, you know, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah, yeah, right. You know there what I'm is. saying? So he, he's so he's getting married. So there's a story around him, and but that's added to the network. But then there's like a talk show. That's, you know what I mean? Like you don't notice these small things because as when you're a, a content creator or a consumer, you're just like, oh, they just keep blasting on my face. So you know what I mean? Then there's an email list you got to have. So how do you how do you garnish your email list? Like as a content creator, as a comedian, it's flipped my brain where I'm like, I don't I don't even think of I don't even think about the art 
as an artist anymore. I think of it like an owner. I'm like, how does this work? Mm-hmm. I, I cannot waste my time. You know what I mean? How did you know what I mean? So go ahead. Yeah, too. I know you have. It, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're and you know we it. I, I think there's there, there's so much out there that we can do. There's there's just so many uh, directions that we can go in. I think staying focused has been, you know, a challenge because we can go this direction, we can go that direction, but we really have to like purposefully stay focused, focused on the mission, focused on uh, where this is going to head, focused on how do we cultivate relationships with our content creators, how do we get more content creators on, how do we get the customer base on, how do we marry the customer base with, with our content creators? How do we continue to push the envelope? Because this is an interesting space that we're in. And um, I was at a mixer yesterday, and uh, this, this guy's name is, is, is Tavis Smiley. He, he's, if, if, if you know anything about LA radio, he's, he's, a, he's a big guy here in, in LA, local radio, but I think nationwide, he's, he's pretty big. He mm-hmm. said he's, he's good friends with Prince. And he said Prince used to always tell him, control your content, control your content. He said, he's, and so um, he, he said Prince told him content was king, but then Tavis said distribution is the emperor. So mm-hmm. what does that distribution look like? And I don't mm-hmm. care if it's yes. us, if it's you, if whoever, but we need to work on distribution. Because when you get the distribution, no one can tell you anything. Because I got the distribution. I've got people who can come to me. People come to your show. We mm-hmm. have points of distribution. And if as Congolese, if we can understand what that distribution looks like, the people come to us. So we don't have to go to, to people, other folks. They come to us because we have something of value. We can get a critical mass of folks to right. you know, come onto the channel, watch our channel. Now we have a point of distribution. Is that a be so? Mm-hmm. We call the shots now and not somebody else start to control the programming on there. So now we get the programming that we want, the programming yes. that the people want. And, mm-hmm. and, and that's so interesting because, um, yeah, Marilyn, what we actually did before we started the network, we did our own market research. So mm-hmm. what we did was we probably asked, and this is a small sample size, we asked probably about like, I think probably 90 to 100 different um, Black people, like, what do you want to watch? So when it pertains mm-hmm. to what type of history show would you like? Would you like a documentary? Would you like a sports show? Would you like a talk show talking about this or that? So the specific content we're looking for, even though it's a small sample size, we did our own market research. So, so when we're literally saying, hey, we need my bokehs, people are asking, we want black soap operas. We want mm-hmm. black story, um, Congolese black stories that show good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because we never ask black people what they watch. We tell them what to watch. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Very so. deep. That's very deep. I agree with you. Usually we just find ourselves like, okay, um, I, just, I need to watch some TV. I got to sit here and just watch something on TV. And it's always that we like it. We like what we see. Not definitely. Not necessarily. But again, that leads me to my other question about the content. Do you have an option on your TV, on your network to have some kid-friendly shows? Or some shows that you can watch in a family, a traditional Congolese family or African family in general? You know, some shows with scenes and things going on that are not so comfortable to watch as a family. (laughs) (laughs) So do we have that option? Oh, that's that's great a great to two to two's gonna kill this question because he's a family man right but let me exactly. let me let me, exactly. let me let me let me start this one of the things with the market research we was um family shows so there are certain um family show ideas that we have in the process but right now the channel's in its empty stages we literally just opened three weeks ago when it'll be yeah it'll be three weeks on 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 monday so we are scouting or looking for content creators that do make family shows because that fits the the mission of the channel we want to show the goodness of of black of 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 just black of black families black people or whatnot so um if there's a show i can think of right now we don't have one specifically yet that's like um family oriented yet because we have like talk shows and we have podcasts or or whatnot but uh coming soon that's two your turn all right yeah, and I think the, um, that that's that's been another thing with the with the network. We've just been, you know, we've we've gotten folks on, and there's been a lot of excitement, and we are specifically looking for for content around, you know, children, children's books. There's this animation. Oh my gosh, there's this. Uh, exactly. Uh-huh. God loves it. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a we we uh, 
my, my wife, she found a, uh, a a YouTube video of those of, of those folk songs. Uh-huh. And I was like, yo, that's the stuff that we need on our channel. So uh-huh. we're, we've been reaching out to folks. We have some some things in the making animation series, um, family friendly shows. Those are all things that we're actively looking to to beef up. Uh-huh. And, you know, we're, we're we're hoping that, you know, we can meet the right people and we can develop those content creators and have them come on to our to, yeah. to the channel so we have those options so i mean that is definitely something that that we're looking at um we were thinking uh, thinking of ourselves as like a, a black pbs and if you don't know if those of you who don't know what pbs is mm-hmm. pbs is like this um if you look at their mission they say they're the biggest learning uh, uh classroom in the world and they do a lot of children's shows there's there's a whole children's channel that like five or six children's channel you can just watch cartoons and all kind, you know, that, that kind of thing. So um, we, we definitely think that there's a space on our channel where we would have things like that because that really shows the, 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 the true power of our community and to be able to reach our, our younger demographics. And um, so we're, we're definitely looking to, to get that. And we're growing, you know, you'll talk mm-hmm. in three months and our channel is just going to evolve. So exactly. you know, hop on now and, and, and get, on, get, get on the ride. Exactly. So, yes. So, so this is what's um, important. It's funny. Now it's all starting to hit. One thing, well, your question about family oriented. Another mm-hmm. reason why we started this as well, um, yeah, Marilyn, is being growing up here. There mm-hmm. is a dire to know about our history. Yes. Right. So I'm in Maryland. It's funny. I just wanted to call you yesterday. So at the traditional wedding yesterday, the diary or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. They were talking about. It'd be um this this the this tonto that lived in Pasadena. He was like a great teacher. He passed away a couple of years ago. All right, oh, he was like, well, uh, you know who, right, yo, I'm in Maryland. His name is ringing bells. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's, he's an OG. He's an OG. Right? Yeah. And the and the problem is we never sat him down and filmed him and asked him questions. What happened during colonization? What mm. happened when when Lumumba when he, when the, when the uprising was happening? We don't. We are in order. We tell stories, but you have to have this recorded so the kids can see. Because what's happening yes. is, our generation and younger, they're they're seeing Afro beats, they're seeing Black Panther, T'Challa, Tutu, and they're all like, okay, I want to know about back home, and yes. we're not telling them. So with when you bring bring up the idea of like the shows with the kids and whatnot, it's like, yo, we we. We ha- hopefully in the next year or two years, we're going to have a show where we're talking to the elders and they're talking about how it was growing up in colonization. Supposedly, oh, do you know there's like I think there was a there's a there was a lady here yesterday. Her dad ran the bank in Kin during um um in Mobutu's like I don't know like what independence happened or whatever. Supposedly he was like grew up with Kimbangu or he knew Kimbangu something like that. So I was like we have somebody here that knows the dude. We got to interview him. Um, Wow. Wow. He's like 85. It was like, yo, can we get get him in front of a camera? We need to know this. That's you know, weird. we don't we don't talk enough about colonization and how it how it's impacted us, right? It's like mm-hmm. like it didn't happen. Like we exactly. don't, we don't talk you gotta about get it. it. It didn't happen, but it mm-hmm. impacted us. And that's why we're all here, you know, and being able to even, even when we talk to I talked to my mom a lot about it and my dad too. And they just they just have this whole different um, you know why they came here was a person coming here and one thing my mom told me that i was shocked she was like the whole the goal was for us to go back to congo the goal wasn't to stay here it was to go back Mm. you know but situations didn't get better actually got worse over there um they couldn't go back there was this happening they're making a life for themselves they had kids here so but they stayed but they had family back there and so what what did that mean what how did that splitting of the family? How yes. did that? How, how did how did it impact all of us here mm-hmm. in in the United States? And and now all of us are connected. Yes. Um, those of us who were here, like I talk to, to to my brother Papi all the time about this. Like when we were younger, we mm-hmm. didn't have a bunch of Congolese younger Congolese people. It was just me and him, <laughs> and maybe some other folks out there. You know, yeah. LA, but here in LA, it was just Biso Kaka. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get a chance to just understand what colonization meant right. to our parents, what colonization meant to our grandparents, our elders. Right. And right. now that we're older, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to kind of talk about it. Talk about it. Oh, no wonder you guys used to like, 
I was talking to 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 Yalen the other day. We we went to a to to my cousin D's wedding, yeah. and they used to always come by. I remember she used to always come by the house every weekend. She was at the house, or we were over her house, whatever. And now I found out it's because it was just them. Oh, so they would that was their community. So, right. so Yalen and Yafili would come over to the house. They babysit us. They go to we go to Uncle Leon's house, but that was. That was our community. We didn't have like right. a community, community we have now or a church. We can go and mm-hmm. just hang out and eat Nikate and Kwang. We we didn't have that. So they would just come to mom and dad's house. Even when, when your mom first came, your dad first came. I remember they always come by the house too. So mm-hmm. that was our community. But and so what did that mean? How did information get get passed down to us? Because we we don't hear about any of that. So those are all things that we definitely want to be able to highlight and talk about on the channel. It's a it's amazing too because uh, you talked about we don't talk about what colonization did. We also have to yeah. remember they came before social media where you exactly. speak That's you speak thing. you speak French. So now you're also learning English here. English, yes. You know say there's no there's no TV show where they'd be like, oh, I can hop on and I can understand. And then the subculture. So the, and, then, yeah. and, and then the rat race of of America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So forget even teaching like how do we maintain the culture? Like well, we got to survive. Yes, yes, you know what I'm saying? yes. So it's a, we gotta survive. Well, we gotta survive. So that's all that adds a whole nother layer. Cause like now, what is there like a six, seven generation of Congolese people here? You go to a party, be like, I don't even know these people. You don't even know people, half of the people there. I think another problem is we just got to a point where we started we were taking some things for granted. You see the things like what you said. Well, there was only you, Yaelen, and Anton Leon, and then you know, it was just a small circle. Just to share Mikate, you see, and some for some people don't know Mikate, it's Congolese puff up, you know, and it's something that you know we like to be around people to just share food, you know, to just talk, to just be there. But again, the more people started coming, well, we started having problems. Songi songi, <laughs> that made a lot of people feel like ah, uh-uh, I want to stay in my own corner. And here we are, we have a younger generation, seven, four, five generations later who have lost a sense of identity. They can relate to an American, any type of American community as much as they try. <laughs> they just don't belong there. I, I, I noticed that when you know when you have to fill out your identity, they'll ask you, who are you? Are you, do you consider yourself black? Even among blacks, they give you a bunch of options. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I thought there's only, you know, you, you only this or that. Oh, even if they say uh, African-American or white or Caucasian, you just don't belong. You have a, a group within a group and a, within a group. Right. So it matters to give our kids a sense of identity. And, you know, there's always a problem where people are, even in a family, you know, you have problems. The most important thing is to learn not to kill what matters, which is the community and the values that makes us who we are, the things that define who we are. And remind me also about what you just said about those old songs, um, learning from the grandparents like Papa Fulakanda. I, I received her daughter, Mama Elaine, and uh, there's a bunch of um, family members also here that I take the time to greet. They live in Pasadena. Greetings to you. Greetings, greetings, greetings to all the Fulakandas. Thank you so much for blessing to the body of Christ here in Los Angeles and to our community as well. But again, you see things like that. We've been missing out on those things. And there was a show about it called Grand Père Raconte. Back home, I, 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 some people know that. When it's just about grandpa um, tells, meaning, you know, grandpa tells yeah. the story about around the fire, like a bonfire, and then the grandkids are around the grandpa and the grandpa is telling the story. We need that. We need things like that. But again, like we said, technology is a problem. <laughs> and you know, the COVID, well, the confinement. Well, I think that's what that's why we're that's why we're here because I, you didn't get to this question yet, but you know, Kidogo TV network is on Roku right now, right? Mm-hmm. So we're all, so if anybody that has a Roku um channel or anything like that, um, you mm-hmm. just type in K-I-T-O-K-O um TV network, you'll be able to find our network, but we also have an app. So the app is on iOS or it's on Android or whatnot. So you can literally watch it on your phone the same way you can watch Hulu and you can watch um, Netflix and, and you can watch Kitoko TV Network. So, you know, ev- so everybody might not have Roku around the world, but everybody has a cell phone. You know yes. I mean? you know I mean? For those who are wondering, what does it look like? Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You see? Ooh, there it is. Ooh, look at you, Marilyn. Ooh. And, yeah. 
And this is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to register, but I want you guys to also leave us a five-star review. Mm -hmm. And you're going to leave us two, at least 10 words Mm -hmm. um, in the review because it helps out with the algorithms. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. All right, all right. (laughs) Yes, we do. Well, now there's an issue. There's Clearly, you need content creators. But again, there's a variety of information out there, of content. Some content can be um, a little controversial for others or biased or more religious and sensitive to others. I don't know. What kind of content are you looking for, like right now? Got to see. You want to go first? My book, so okay. my book, but my book, we're looking for my book. I'm just, I was when we started this, we started this whole process. I was like, man, we need in my book. To, to, I could just see, I remember, I remember, um, going to all about but, 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 any mama here in LA going to their house, having all these CDs in my book, yes. my book for the this, my book for that. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, if that was digital, how, how cool would that be? So when we started, I was like, yo, that all those my book is one out, but could be uh-huh. on our channel. Yes. So, you know, but my book, uh, mm-hmm. we can get some some my book. And then um, I mean, I, I know this is maybe a little bit of a stretch, but also some like uh children uh program like we talked about earlier, you know, mm-hmm. some type of animation, children, um, specials. And so I think to, for, for me, that's that's kind of right now, kind of something that we're we're putting it out there to to, to look for. Yes, I, I have to second that Mabokes, um, because what actually one thing I've noticed, like growing up, like the two city goes to all these Dunkin's houses and they'll have all these Mabokes is it teaches a really good lesson, all right? And mm-hmm. I think sometimes that's what helps them um, maintain a culture outside of like food. And also with food, one thing we're doing is we're in the process of having a uh, Congolese cooking show. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, outside of like food, because, you know, food is like probably like one of the roots of culture, because that's where you get to share stories and experiences. But Maboke is because you're able to see like lessons and fables that actually help maintain um, culture, people's roles, uh, family history. And um, it teaches you like it's like character building as well, too. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. Tutu's wearing a Black Panther. But if you look at every Marvel, it's always about the dude saving the girl or the person persevering or whatever. Those are lessons Mm -hmm. that you can use in life. So, yeah, just job. All right. So, you missed it. Right. There it is. That's really really, it's funny because I feel like he stole it from Luther. Like, (laughs) let's say, like, he's like, Luther, let's just get a triple (laughs) arch. He's on mute. (laughs) No, but, um, I'm, so my book is, um, and I would say this, it, we the content we're looking for, it can be a documentary, it can be a television show, it can be a podcast, but you have to ask yourself this, our mission is to show the goodness of Black. Do you feel comfortable showing this to your grandma? Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, then that's probably not something on our network. And there's other networks that will be perfect for that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But for our network and our mission and our goal, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? If you, if you don't feel comfortable showing it to your, your parents or your grandparents, then um, it would probably wouldn't work here. But we wish you we wish you the most success. There's there's so many so many avenues. But like for us, we are, this is we have a mission and a goal we're trying to do here. Mm-hmm. Very deep. Well, at least you know, brothers. Right now, we need content creators. Nalingala, bandona so bazo luka bato baza na ba emission. Oza na likani serien. Oza na emission mo bosa la o eteyara makambo mboka o ezara malamu yaka nangume. Rassure-toi que l'émission n'a pas de problème. Il n'y a 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 pas de problème. So, brother, there's a question. What's in for you and what's in for the content creators? Because some creators, well, they get something on YouTube after a certain, you know, amount of effort or something. They get something. On Facebook, recently we saw how people almost had a heart attack for a couple hours. <laughs> for uh, Facebook going down for a couple hours. Why? So, why thing? Some people feel like, now is why you're not at. But if you're not at, you're not at, you're not at, you're not at, you're not Hey, that's the reality. Yeah, we're in the process of of, of uh, figuring out the what, what that's going to look like in terms of monetization. We're not We're not quite there yet. But we really want content creators to take ownership of their content, right? Like mm-hmm. none of the stuff that you create, like we we own none of it. It's 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 yours. You keep it, 
but now you have a place to put it right so it's it's like this uh it's it's a platform and platforms mm -hmm. are really popular now because it's a space where content creators can come and share their content and mm -hmm. their customers can come and share their content and because you know we have we're, we're, we're taking this as this is our village mm -hmm. that because there's one piece of content on the channel maybe mm -hmm. if folks come on they'll be able to explore other things that are happening on the channel and if mm -hmm. we can get you know that that loyal following for someone's show you know there may be someone in costa rica who loves mm -hmm. what you're talking about uh lady marilyn and they mm -hmm. come and watch the show because of that so that's that's our our grand scheme here our grand scheme is just to mix all these content creators together with mm -hmm. all the customers yes. and there's a space where customers from around the world can come to our channel specifically to get the show that they want to watch. Mm -hmm. Very deep, very deep. Well, let me tell you. Go ahead. Uh -huh. go ahead. Uh -huh. and I was going to say, just to add on, of course, we all know the answers to all your problems in America is money, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we are trying to create this village once we're able to get like ad rep. Because one thing about the network, it's a free subscription. It's free subscription based as of right now, right? So like, mm -hmm. if you get the app and you don't have to pay anything or anything, it's it's free. So once we mm -hmm. our first goal is to get um. At, um, to get advertisement. Once we get advertisement, that we figure out a split with our with our content um, creators. But like after two said, those content creators that have content that's already on YouTube or whatnot, or these other parties, and they put it on here, we don't own we don't own it. We're like, hey, rock with us for a certain amount of time as we grow this village, and then we mm -hmm. can renew the contract. But let's say if you're like, hey, I want to go in another direction, I don't want it here. Hey, we'll shake your hand. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we've cultivated a relationship enough where tomorrow you would want to come back and you want to come work with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Very deep. Well, the way I think about it, it's Kitoko TV is like our baby. And us being African, we believe <laughs> it's a village to raise a kid. Yeah. So you don't expect a kid to pay you right back as they're two or one years old. Like, seriously, be serious yeah. about yeah. this. Yeah. So, <laughs> let us go to your mama. Merci. Loba, mama. Loba, loba, bien, bien. Don't expect because I think by dollar, by the number of October foot, I also come here and say, Is that bon motif? Because you call Sango Nan, is that just a cousin? Nan, buy you by you, Nan, call you by mama, foot and a foot and a mac. For about a four foot up by you, if four foot up by bar, moon, and you, but I think you're some of them. But so then a circle more boy. I really love what you're doing. I, I, I have to congratulate you because that's why that, that's the whole point of Wanya in all of God's ministries. It's all about wisdom. Right nowadays, people think network equals nudity. It's all about you know deprivation of ideas and ways of living, like depravation de mœurs, comme on dit en français, meaning, you know, we lose culture. There's, it seems like there's a network culture, a virtual culture, right. and a natural culture in life, and people lose the sense of identity like that. But with this, I feel like anyone who's confused or our children can come and just be there. I can trust them on that TV, knowing that whatever wow. show they pick on, what they'll watch, won't be something I'll have to regret later on or have have that kid unlearn that, which is hard to unlearn, you know, ugly things or dirty stuff that someone has been exposed to. And you don't get a good job to work hard on this. And I pray that God sends you the right people to build this up and continue in this path. Thank you so much. Thank you for for this, you know, effort and just being strong in this mindset. It matters. It matters. So some people are interested. They want to help and support. Mm -hmm. How how can they support? How can we support? We want to be part of this village. How um, can we support? First thing is um, download the channel on Roku. So mm -hmm. if you have a Roku um, app, just download it, K-I-T-O-K-O -O, um, mm -hmm. TV network. Second thing is if you everybody has a cell phone. Everybody, ha look, I'm actually watching the show. See, I'm streaming the show. So uh -huh. everybody, so everybody has a phone. Go on Iowa, go on um, Google, Android, and go to Apple TV and download the app. Sign up, and you know, watch the shows and watch us grow. Remember, we are. I think, in just what you were saying, Marilyn. First of all, thanks for the compliments. But I think mm -hmm. um, the content creators. One one great thing about Yachts Two is we're very transparent. Our yeah. content creators, they don't work for us. They're our partners. So mm -hmm. we're going hand in hand together like you're a partner. Um, yeah, um, yeah Marilyn. Um, the mm -hmm. chat's a partner. 
Book with that TV, they're partners. So we grow together. So we tell everybody in the village, like, hey, step by step, this is what we're um, this is what we're doing. So just yeah, so answer questions, just like download the download the app and share it with your friends and family. That's it. Say like, hey, does that uh, app oil is that Kitoko TV network? Is that um Kogolese Netflix, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very deep. Yes. Please support, support, support. Nowadays we don't trust kids to spend too much time on TV, but with the right channel, you can be at peace. Okay, you mm -hmm. can take a nap, and no worry that. Oh my God, where did this kid go? Can Can I add? Can I add something? I, I forgot you yes, said that about um you have don't have a problem because you know we're, me and Yatsu talks about this. We have a responsibility, right? Mm -hmm. Because yes. it's funny. Okay, now everything's coming back. When we started CEO Ken, me and Yatsu mm -hmm. were like, "Yo, I don't. I'm not married with kids yet." But I was like, "Where are they gonna learn Lingala?" Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> I was like, "Right? Where are they gonna learn? Where are they gonna learn Kikongo?" Mm -hmm. Where are they gonna learn this music? Chiluba, right? Where are they gonna learn, right. they learn Chiluba? Like, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we understand it's it's a social, it's also we have to we have a responsibility as well on the network, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? To our consumer as well. Because you know, if you put out poison, you'll get poison. Okay, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll come back to you. You know, it don't matter what, what you do. So we understand that we have a soul, we have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. I see. What about you, Papa Tutu? Some people are now content creators. They're like, okay, I don't have ideas like that. But I would like to be part of this. I don't, I, I'm sh I'm kind of shy. Um, <laughs> you want to support or she wants to support. How to go about it? Man, there's a, there, you know, people, people think that there's only one way to be successful, right? Like, they don't realize um, somebody was telling me there's this uh, famous director who he wanted to, to, to you know, to, to be an actor and whatever. But he was he was doing some like copies and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. someone told him, go, yeah, somebody's here. Go make these copies. But it's for payroll. And he was seeing what the writers were making. He was like, whoa, writers make this much money. So he went and he became a writer. So mm -hmm. there's so much out there that you're good at. Mm -hmm. So whether it's taking pictures Maybe you're the voice of your all your friends. They always re retweet your stuff or reshare your stuff. Or mm -hmm. maybe you're great at just you know just getting folks together, right? Though they're all of us have skills. So mm -hmm. if it's not sharing a post that you see on Instagram, sharing our posts on Instagram, watching our shows, commenting on our shows, mm -hmm. um, if if you know of someone who you think might be you know have a little bit of talent but they're kind of shy, maybe mm -hmm. you can do some introductions between them and us, or maybe, you know, Marilyn, you know, Marilyn Ayebi Buso, Yipsa Marilyn, Marilyn Ayebi Buso, and then we can have a conversation, right? So there's so many things you can do out there that doesn't involve you actually going and making content. So um, maybe you, you want to write about the channel, you know, mm -hmm. maybe maybe you reach out to, to Belek. Belek has got a bunch of stuff going on on, on, on Instagram. You connect with with Bileko. maybe you're friends with the content creator who's doing some cool stuff like yo you should go on you know kitoko tv so there's a lot we a lot you can do but it all starts with where your own talent is and where you see yourself and how you might be able to like share the information talk to other people about the information that you may have seen maybe talk to people about your about what's happening or hey maybe you're the person who always retweets or, or um, reshares information, or maybe you do little videos talking about what's happening on the channel, right? There's mm -hmm. all different ways that you can be influential and that your, your, your light can shine. So don't think there's just one way to do it. Um, sending us a message and saying, mm -hmm. yo, you guys, I love what you're doing. How do I get involved? You know, we're, we're, we're babies now. So mm -hmm. anything that folks want to do, we're, 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 we're open to, to listen. Yes, yes. Well, well said. Well said. Very well. Well, I'm just going to add this one. I know you probably don't want to mention that. But again, you know, we said Kitoko TV is a baby. It's our baby. Each baby needs a baby shower and diaper and wipes and stuff. So 
Mani. Mbongo. Pesa visa mbongo. Pesa visa mbongo. Our riders need money. They will need money eventually for cameras. They will need money to promote the website, the, the channel, to keep some things going. There's a bunch of things to do to, pro, to, to even support some people back home. Yes, Papa. We yeah, no, Marilyn, first of all, that's a two. Marilyn's fire. Like, round of applause. Like, you're, you're just on point. I'm so happy that you're on the network. But you don't. I mean, you brought up something excellent, and and I think people don't. It is not people don't understand, but we're a network, so mm -hmm. we are NBC, mm -hmm. we are CBS. We're just starting, so mm -hmm. like literally, like we have plans. Like you said, camera to have an actual studio. Like we're based here in LA. The goal is to also have studios elsewhere in other parts of the world. Lord willing, I don't know Ken, but you know, I'm not, I don't know the politics there yet, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yes, like yes, it's a network, so yes. We need money for cameras. You and in a studio, give us money. Mm, mm, we need money, and some people would like to send you money. How to do it? Where is he going? Is he going in a private account, or is he going in? Uh, I don't know. Is Kitoko TV has a financial department yet, or are we still working? We're, no, we're legit. We yeah, we're legit. Kitoko TV, we had a check to Kitoko TV. Go straight on Kitoko TV, where we're a corporation that's recognized in the state of California. Right. Um, we, 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 we got all that going on. So, you know, if, if, if folks want to donate, um, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't have a nonprofit arm, um, yeah. but you know, you could definitely give to, to, to Kitoko TV. Uh, we haven't done any push for, for, uh, fundraising just yet. yet. Uh, but that, that may be coming down the, down the, down the line. We just want to make sure that we can get good quality content for people. Mm, I see. Well, don't hesitate. We need help. We need to support each other. And if you need something, let's not don't do the Congolese thing. Yeah, my pick. Ah, na cookie. No, you need something. Please let us know. Pinching. You Whatever won't. You, you won't see me with the Mercedes. Not yet. I promise. We we'll send the money. <laughs> Well, even if you do, you you deserve it. You just deserve it. This one is our baby. All of us, we need to pinch in. Thank you so much for being here. And we almost at the end of today's Buanya. I mean, time flies so fast, and I, I'm yeah. already sad. I'm already sad to, have, to to be almost at the end. But again, we have to end uh, almost about now. But again, somebody, someone out there is watching us and can connect Jesus Christ with whatever you're talking about. Network. Some people think it's the devil's inspiration. That's why I asked you, who oh, inspired you? And I heard your answers. And some people think, well, in order to go along, you have to put some symbolisms. You know, you have to make pact with the devil. And probably you already did. Or, you know, some people just can't relate. They can't relate. And they would like to know. They would like to know. And, you know, why should I receive Jesus and how can I go about it? I don't know which, which one of you will be comfortable doing that. Well, uh, uh, oh, go ahead, yes, too. Go ahead. Well, I think you know, as 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 Christians, I think there has to be a bigger um, discussion about faith and what faith does for you. And the Bible is very clear on you know how we should really rely on faith. But somehow it seems like as Christians, we read it in the Bible, but we don't translate it, you know. But what, what we're trying to do here is 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 all faith, you know. Mm -hmm. God has the wheel. And you know, there, there are things that I used to worry about, but I know that it's gonna be taken care of. And once I gave that away to to I put that on, on the shoulders of, of, of the Lord, it 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 really gave me a, a, a calm. And I, I was telling uh Bileko, uh, like a few weeks ago, I was like, you know what. When we first started, I was really, you know, re really worried about money and this and how do we get started. But, you know, um, conversations with 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 my pastor and just listen to his sermons and and how, you know, how to make sure that your walk and the things that we ask for the Lord manifests itself and how to be grateful for those manifestations. And no, this is bigger than us. Is that be so this is God put this on our heart. And if God put this on our heart. It, 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 but whatever whatever God has for this, mm -hmm. we, we you know we're just gonna submit to it and let us be you know vehicles to, to, to bring people closer to him. Yes, 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 no problem. Thank you so much. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, that's too that was absolutely absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna yes and it. Um it's when you have a, a talent or a gift, right? 
that's placed on you. It's not of your own doing. That's mm. a gift. There's so many people that can't do this, right? Like Marilyn, there's so many people that wish they could know how to talk on camera, mm. right? So you have a responsibility when God gives you a gift like this. Because look at this, if we were selfish or evil, Mm -hmm. We would have just probably not even done this. We could have just probably figured out, hey, Tatu, let's just worry about my comedy career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you look at this network, we're mm -hmm. helping out or trying to cultivate a village and help out other people because we've been gifted to have this idea and to be like, hey, we can do this. Mm -hmm. So we're not only just helping ourselves, we're trying to help out all the other pe people in our village. Because once you have a gift, your gift then becomes you have to help out other people. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God wouldn't place this in your heart if you couldn't have done if you if you couldn't have done this, because not yes. so many people are thinking like this, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're thinking about, hey, let's actually start a network. How can we help other content creators um, shine, right? Because mm -hmm. we could have we could have been selfish, but it's like, no, that's not that's not like the way. So, you know, I think like recognizing this gift that God puts in you, and then figuring out a way, like, hey, not only can I help myself, but I can help others. It's much bigger than us. Mm -hmm. Very good. Go ahead, go ahead. I just no. I was gonna say, like, that's why we're so transparent with our our content creators, because we know this this platform or this idea that we have is not only gonna just help us; it's gonna help out their family, it's gonna help them out, it's gonna help out their, uh, um, you know, their their. Some might be able to achieve achieve their dreams that they never even thought of. Like when you see certain content creators, when we have these meetings, and they're just like, "Yo, I could be on Roku. It's possible that I can be on Amazon. You believe in my content?" I was like, "Yeah." You know, some we have content creators where they've started where they only have like 10 episodes. And I'm like, yo, I can't wait to see you at episode 40. You know, you're with us. We're not looking down on you. We still respect you as people. And I yes. think that's not us. That's God. So, yes. yeah. That's very deep. Someone may wonder, well, Kitoko TV is little carnal. It's just all about the beauty. Beauty fades away and stuff. Well, thank you for being spiritual. But again, the wisdom here is about shining. Ways mm -hmm. you can shine. Clearly, you see our brothers didn't talk about singing, not about cooking or whatever else that they clearly not really, really into, but about what God has given them. And they want to shine in that. And that's what we want to talk about today. Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You're the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. You've been hiding a gift. Come out of hiding. You have a gift. You have a content. You have an idea. Here's right. a platform, Kitoko TV. Yes, some people see the beauty in what you've been hiding. Come out with it. Come on. Some people believe in you. Bring it on. You don't know who will be blessed by what you have to give. Thank you so much, brothers, for your time. Thank you for everything. And someone would like to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Papa Wisa, please help out. Oh, okay. Oh, you were. You were in Sambala. Yes, Sambala. Oh, okay. Sambala na lingala. Okay. No, I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. English, English, English. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that, would have been, that would have ruined this whole interview what I did in lingala. No. Um, um, dear God, I want to thank you for allowing us to see another day. I want to thank you for this wonderful interview with uh, Yamir Lin. Allow this to be the first of any interviews we do on Kitogo TV um, Network and on um, all of Gospel Ministries. Um, I want to thank you for allowing us to, uh, for us, um, recognizing the gift you've given us and for us to continue to manifest this gift so when people see us they see you um this and many more i ask in jesus name amen 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 well 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 thank you so much for your time somebody probably heard this prayer and you're wondering where should i go from here you receive jesus christ as lord and savior you welcome in your heart well welcome in the body of christ now find yourself a church you don't know where to go get your bible download it and grow in christ thank you so much and Papa Wisa, just the last question someone is asking. They've been hearing yeah. you adding some yeah before the name of Papa Tutu. Yeah before Maryland. Yeah. You say yeah Tutu, yeah my lead. Someone yeah. else is like, okay, is her name yeah or is it Chinese okay. or what is it? Uh, so, you know, culturally, if you're older, you always put the yeah in front. Or okay. whatever you know there's always like you know the person that's older or younger so people don't know it's funny my american friends they'll be like why do you say that i'm like oh no the old person is older yes yes that's how yeah. we refer to all the brothers and sisters we call mm. them yeah yeah but again mm. short for it it's yeah for those who are wondering again mm. thank you for being so culturally attuned good job to your parents 
Thumbs up. He did a good job. <laughs> he did a good job. A lot of kids came in America and got lost in the American, you know, America, American uh, dream and stuff. But again, you found a way to remain um, in line. Well, any last any last word before we go, Papa Tutu, Doctor Tutu, and Brother Wisa. I don't know any last word if you have any. Yeah, thanks for having us. And you know, check out the channel, and hopefully, you can. Uh, you know, enjoy the content on there and just stay tuned because there's there's a lot more to come. A lot. A lot more. Well, stay tuned. In the meantime, stay kitoku. Not yes. my baby, not ugly, but kitoku. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir.